Good afternoon, and welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to an epic. So last episode, we killed the Diodine Worm and made our way into the sewers, and I'm just picking up pretty much where we left off, because of course we got killed, uh, and had to restart the area, so fun stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and explore the left-hand path really, really quick, because we actually didn't really get to explore it due to the issues that we had. Uh, die. Why can I not uh, target that other one? There we go. There we go. Nope. Afraid not. Sorry, buddy. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to adjust this just a little bit. Because I think I'd rather have that in the first slot and then you know if we want to change up weapons that'll be in the fifth slot right. there we go Shoot. all right Shoot. okay that's actually kind of nice I didn't know that the staff would break barrels like effectively or not but I think we need to get used to pretty much running this, like, the majority of the time, if we can. <laughs> because, I believe we'll be using it quite a bit. Um, actually... Oops. Oh, shoot. No! That's not the weapon that I want! Let me change. Alright. Um. Oh! I'm trying to cast Fireball on 5. Like, I change it, but it was, like, right after I've gotten, like, used to it, I guess. Okay. Oh, shit. God. There we go. Now we shall cast it. Um, I might, in a minute, go, uh, buy some more fire essence, maybe? Or red essence, I mean. We'll see. Um where we stand on it but like from this point moving forward we're gonna be using spells almost exclusively I think so we'll definitely want a lot of that essence um I wonder if there's a secret path here perhaps maybe not maybe not Alright, nothing, okay, let's proceed on then, onward and upward, to the sewers, so the sewers we get, what, frost magic, I want to say, and if so, that is going to be nice, because, um, you know, fire's got that benefit of just, like, really stout raw damage, whereas the frost magic is going to slow enemies down. So I think together that's going to be really, really nice. Alright. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. Yeah. That's not working. Do you die from... Oh shit, you're like immune to fire. Okay. And that is why we need... Frost magic. I don't know why I even bothered equipping that. Oh, Wanda Frostbolt. Now that... We may... We may use, actually. Um... Go ahead and clear these guys out really, really quick. Get our staff back. So the Wand of Frostbolt has 20 charges, fires a bolt of ice, freezing the first victim that gets in its path. Let's go ahead and assign it to, uh... Shift 2, I guess. I guess so. And let's try it out. Ha <laughs> Alright. Gotta get used to all these keybinds, because they're, you know, of course it's different than, um... God. That thing fires really... Okay, whatever. 
I was trying to update. Still getting everything sorted out on this. Um, all right, sorry about that. Um, this thing fires really. It fires really, really fast, but the thing is, it's only got those 20 charges, and then we have to, I guess, charge it up? Um, which I remember reading that you have to charge the stuff, I just can't remember, I don't know, I say I can't remember, but I don't think I ever knew how you go about charging them, so. Hello, buddy. Uh, haha. All right. Fire's so nice because of that, like, just damage. I wish I was immune to fire. Oh, shit. I just realized that guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. But probably not with. Shit. Ah! Alright. I'm honestly. I think this playthrough is going to be a lot of fun. Um, of course, for starters, I mean, the game itself was a lot of fun. And then on top of that, you know, we have a bit of replayability, I think, because... Um, oh, we got another Wand of Frostbolt. Well, that's good. That's that's really, really good. Um, but because, like, this playthrough is going to be totally different, I think... Um, both in the difficulty and also just the entire play style and, and what we get to experience, um, you know, being a caster. Especially like going pure casting. Shit. That's too damn sneaky. God, I love that one to Frostbolt. And those actually fire, you know, a bit faster than the actual um, spell will cast as well. So, let's... Let's see, let's go right, we can't go right, alright, then left we shall go, um, I guess we'll go down first, hello, shit, okay, I know where we're at now, um, let's actually go left first, and I want to say there's a red, um, helmet over here, right, yeah, shit, no, I don't want to fire in that direction, A health pot, damn you. We can actually use them now, so may as well. Shit. Man, it's a pain to hit him from here. There we go. Like, you have to. You can't fire, like, directly up or even, like, kind of up. So. Like getting the, uh, the aiming sometimes. But I imagine, actually I imagine we'll probably get really, really used to it in this playthrough. Because last playthrough, I mean at the end of the day, we were pretty much like pure melee, close to it. So this playthrough, of course, we're going to be using a lot more range stuff. And then, well, chances are we'll end up doing a third playthrough, um, you know, once we come to it. Because there's still another... Um, there's another ending that we won't get, you know, this playthrough, of course. Uh, let me actually go ahead and open up the shortcut. Here. Alright, that frog's about to switch over. And kill them we shall. Ha ha ha. Some of these enemies that were a pain, I think. Like the, um... I tell you what, the, uh... That one place that sucked really bad, the, uh, what was it, the halls, I think, that was, like, super stout and had all the statues and everything, that place won't be bad, I bet, this playthrough. Like, I'm betting that's gonna go very, very well, um, in comparison to last playthrough. Last playthrough was so difficult, um, you know, when we got to that area, so, I really foresee that being quite a bit easier. Oh, we're actually about to level which is going to be nice because and what's nice is we have a lot of points like built up we have eight points built up um 
like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on wands because actually upgrading these doesn't upgrade the damage they do. So um, you know, if we come across a wand that we're like, oh my gosh, we can't live without this. Um, I'm gonna go sword through here because it's just that's way too many worms to use frost bolt on every one of them. Um, but you know, when we come to a new skill or something, um, a new magic, we'll just be able to upgrade it up to max, like right out the gate. It's wonderful. Um, of course, the reason we weren't able to do that with melee was because we pretty much had everything unlocked from the get go. Um, because it's just the magic stuff that kind of unlocks as you go. Alright. And surprisingly, I was thinking that, you know, especially early on when it's hard to get those essences, I was thinking that, like, there's no way we'd have plenty of essences. We'd be running through those like crazy. But we're actually doing alright on them, honestly. Kind of surprised. Um, of course, if we do start running low on them, it's not an issue at all just to go to the chef and buy up a bunch because he's like 30 at a time for fairly cheap so and we won't be buying like or we won't be like having to buy and all that like the expensive weapons and stuff and I don't know the robes might still be expensive but that's fine actually then again we might wear multiple we might have multiple robe sets I don't know and multiple staff sets, so it might actually be more expensive to play a mage. I don't know for sure. Alright. But so far, I feel like... I mean, it's been fairly smooth sailing. So... And I actually think this playthrough will be more fun, because there's... I think the magic on this game is really in-depth, and I, I love that about it. Like, there is, from what I could tell there towards the end, there is a lot of spells. And those teleportation spells, like, once we get to those, I think those are going to come in, like, super handy as well. Place, I don't think the reward really justifies the amount of just worm slashing that we had to go through, but that's okay good experience anyway and so I think the general consensus is since we actually are coming up on a crow area if I recall correctly um, the general consensus is that we are going to kill crows on this playthrough and not worry about that challenge because it wouldn't be any fun skipping out on magic so um, next playthrough though the third playthrough I'm thinking we might try to go like a ranged build. Another Wand of Frostbolt. Alright. We shall take it. We shall take it. Um, maybe a ranged build or something, but if you guys have a preference, definitely let me know. Um, if you're like, well, maybe it'd be more fun to, to do this. But, um, Right. Onward. Aha! Reach level five. We have done it. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and actually use up this level. Let's go staves robes and fire. Yes, apply changes. I really like these frogs right now. Because they're basically like just freebies uh, as far as experience goes. Alright. Potion of healing. Alright. I'm hoping we can make a make it through a big chunk of the sewers. I remember the sewers being fairly large, but... Alright, there we go. This is the kind of place that we want. Alright, so we need blue essence we've got, but we need the pieces of the statue, the great round sapphires, the coral crown, the trident, and kill some red helmets. And all the mobs respawn, wow. I did not realize. Okay. 
That sucks. We should have just um, rushed here. I didn't. I didn't think about them respawning because usually, you know, they're not gonna not gonna respawn that quickly. Let's switch over here. I love it. That makes those guys so much easier than they were. Because those guys, if you recall, those guys were actually kind of a pain in the ass before. Um, because they would hit you, you know, whenever you get in melee range. And it was kind of, kind of not fun. Alright. And these guys were actually kind of a pain too. Because they have ranged attacks. Pretty much anything in the game with a ranged attack last playthrough was was a pain. Alright, so that's all of those. We got one more over here. And then I guess we will head... Let's see. Yeah, we'll head down over here first. Uh, and start exploring this way. Oh, this guy. You... Alright, he wants ferns. Ferns. Alright. <laughs> Alright. But there was like two. How do we I can't remember how we get up here. I don't know. I guess it's. I guess it's here in a minute. I just can't remember how we ended up, uh, you know, getting down there and everything. All right. You shall die. And we'll actually be able to buy our first set of robes here, which I'm actually really, really excited about because um, we've been wearing this like starter gear for a while now. Alright, miscellaneous items, fireball, we've got, what, firebolt, so let's go ahead and get, I think we're running out of money, <laughs> if we buy everything, I'm not for sure, let's see, we're using the red magic, we're going to stick with that for right now, um, the fire wizard's robe, extra damage with fire and critical chance with fire, and then we've got the fire wizard robe of concentration, Cast speed with fire plus 10%. Red essence is saving plus one and cast breaking resist one. And then there's a robe of defense as well, which is protection against everything. So do we want raw damage or faster casts? Red essence saving and cast breaking resist. Oh, God, I don't know. Let's see. Recipes we're not going to need. Um. I don't know. They're kind of balanced out. Let's go with the... <laughs> it's such a difficult choice. Um, let's go with the... Let's go with the concentration. I think I'm happy with concentration. Let's go with that. And then we'll buy us a couple spells. I really don't need anything over with that guy. I already know that. Um, we don't have enough for both of these. Let's get... Oh man, I don't know. Let's get Fireball. Fireball. I think. Because it's a long range AoE where the other one's more of like a frontal cone. And. Da, 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 da. Let's uh, assign this to slot 2. And. Yeah. I'm not worried about the mace, honestly. The staff seems to have the same effect as far as um, damage and stuff as the mace does, I think. So. Not as concerned. I really like the way this robe looks, actually. <laughs> looks pretty beast. Alright. Hello, guys. 
Fireball! Pow! Oh my god. That's so good. That is so, so good. Oh, it looks like you still get the leeches, though. Okay. God. That makes those pits so much easier. So, so much easier. Um, oh wow. <laughs> we just got low on red essence quick. Um. Hello, buddy. <laughs> yeah, see, I feel like our damage is pretty good, but I think the cast speed um, will be more of a noticeable boon to us than the um, than just the raw damage. I want to double check, make sure we're not missing any ferns, because I feel like I misjudge those a lot of times going through here as just being part of the backdrop and not actually something that I need to be grabbing. Because, of course, there's the moss on the top as well, so... Onward. Here we go. Hello! Hello! Yeah. I know that the amount of damage that we take is very, very, very noticeable after being that melee spec where we were like just gargantuan amount of armor. Haha. <laughs> I can do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Go. Jump again, little frog. I am out of essence. Oh, man. I'm like a sitting duck now. Get you some of that. My epic sword skills here. Shat. Get you some. Got in like nothing through here drops red essence. Okay. Um oh man. Let's see, I've got a couple casts on this. And it does like nothing to these guys hardly. And that's all she wrote on that one. Alright. All right, leeches, there's one. Let me see here. Let me see here. Damn it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's, that's the downside to it. I guess I should have bought up a bunch. I mean, we'll get used to running out of essences. And once we have more spells too, like, oh, we ran out of red essences, let's use blue. <gasps> oh, sorry. Blue. Had like a terrible hiccup there. Alright. What season? Oh my god. I gotta fight all this shit, really? Oh god, no thanks. not fun. Um, let me... Okay, we're gonna have to go back and... <laughs> we're gonna have to go back and buy some essences because there's just no alternative to that. Um... I'm gonna have to sell some stuff. That's fine. Alright, welcome back. Um... So I went and bought some essence, as you can tell. I went ahead and just sold everything that we had to sell and bought up a bunch of red essence. Because I know that we're going to need it. So there's really no reason to beat around the bush on that. So um, I do want to go back probably uh, fairly soon. Because we'll get back up to like 100 gold, I think, pretty quickly. Um, and we'll go back and get the red essence. Uh, <clears throat> or not the red essence, the other spell that, um, shoot, wrong, uh, oh shit, I just cast a fireball. Oh, you have to, oh man, you gotta switch these. 
every time. <laughs> That's not cool. Man, it's not shit. It's not working. I can't I can't use it. Why in the hell? Oh. Shoot. Oh god, I'm having such an issue here. Okay. I had I still had the other one equipped. That's the problem. I'll get this figured out. I promise you guys. It will happen one day. Alright. I may do some some organizing as far as uh, the way everything's laid out, maybe. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Alright. Give me all your small rubies. I need to buy things. There's too much too much things to buy here. Alright, I think we'll switch over to this. I think this is like orcs, right? I don't know. We need to go down one. I'm ducking. I'm ducking too fast. Oh, no! No! Alright. Let's try this again. With a little more gusto. Shit. God. That was still terrible. I just sucked today. Alright. Okay. Here we go. And let's go this way. God, I love this little robe. It's so good. I think the 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 armor on this game just looks good, I think. I think it's very, very fitting for the game and everything. Alright. What you got down here? Bunch of worms. Alright. And that right there is our last piece of the Poseidon statue. So we just need, let's see. Follow. Uh, okay, the Great Round Sapphires, the Coral Crown, all that jazz. He wants 80 coins. Is this the, um, yeah, this is that dagger. We'll come back once we have the money, but I'm really not in any kind of rush for that. Okay. I feel like the enemies, shit. I feel like the enemies <laughs> respawn a little bit quicker now. I wish I knew how you recharge the wands. I know there's a way. There's always a way. Yes. You are dead. God, I love just the raw power of playing a mage. Look, it's so nice. Wait for those little those little Jawa shits to come out. Trying to keep an eye on it. Alright. You die. God. Like, I just feel so powerful. Because, like, before we'd have to go up in there and, like, beat on them, and it was like, oh, God. Like, take some damage and all that good stuff, and now we just destroy everything. Oh, it is getting close to wrapping up point. Shit, no! Wrong spell. Thank you for... God! Oh my god, I can't get out of this! Are you serious? Oh my god. I hate when they do that shit. Like, there's, there's literally no way to get away from them. It's terrible. Um... <laughs> 
Okay. Um. I think I think that was my payback for saying like, oh, like we're getting so strong and we're just destroying everything. They're like, oh, you know, we'll show you. Alright. Um. I think. Actually, we'll end the episode there because it is about wrapping up point. Um, next episode, we'll come back and we'll finish out the um, the sewers and everything. We'll finish getting our ice magic, which I think is going to help us out a ton. Um, so, yeah, that's what we'll we will do next episode. Um, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna look and see if I can find out how in the world you recharge these. If that's a if that's a possible thing because having to go in and change the uh, the shortcut every time we want to you know equip a new one is it's a little bit much so if there was like a way that we could just recharge those that would be super handy but I don't remember ever seeing anything about it on our last playthrough so I don't know for sure if that's even something that we could do um, but I'm going to go ahead and clear back up to where we were. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to clear back up to where we were and, um, then I'm going to stop right there. So, um, but anyway, I'm going to end the episode out there. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, be sure and hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already for more daily videos and feel free to comment. Uh, let me know what you think about the episode of the series in general. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm definitely, if you can't tell, I'm definitely enjoying um, the Mage playthrough so far. Because uh, I have a feeling it's going to get, we're going to get extremely powerful, like, pretty quick. I think just having that ice magic is going to help us out a ton, um, you know, once we get that, so... Um, just this fire magic is stout, unless, you know, they're resistant to it, so. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys join me for next episode, and until then, do take care, and I hope to see you guys then.